Hello, everyone. Very happy to be here today. Um, my name is Tom Van Dam. I'm a senior director overseas business at ByteDance, um, heading up the, uh, the games business. And I just want to get a feel for the room and figure out, prior to reading the screen, how many of you had actually heard of ByteDance before? Okay, a few people. TikTok? TikTok, all right. More or less, very good. So ByteDance uh, is uh, owner of TikTok, uh, a very popular overseas short video platform. Also the owner of uh, uh, Douyin, which is uh, the version we have in China, uh, Toutiao, and a bunch of other platforms. Um, this is actually the first time we're speaking at an event about our games business a little bit. So after preparing for a month with our PR team, there are two or three slides left I can actually show you. Um, so let's uh, have a look. What is our mission statement? Essentially enable every person to find, release, and share their passion for play. That is what we are aiming to do under the Byte Dance Games label. So today I want to share you a little bit about what are our plans for games and how they tie in with tech TikTok by talking a little bit about ByteDance and talking a little bit about TikTok. And then perhaps if you have specific questions, we can take those at the end. So company milestones. Company's actually very young, seven years old. Um, founded 2012 in March, uh, not in a garage, but in a nice uh, living room with, uh, with some comfortable couches. Company started uh, very internationally uh, from the get-go, um, ByteDance was chosen immediately as an English name, and you can see that nowadays the company is actually uh, quite, you know, global, as is uncommon among other Chinese big companies. Um, our internal thing, uh, software is all translated in dual languages. Uh, the help desk are available in multiple languages. So it's truly international, which is great. Um, so the company started its uh, products by uh, Toutiao as the first one. And essentially, Toutiao was a news recommendation uh, platform that gave you the news that our algorithms determined you wanted to see the most. So AI was at the core of uh, a lot of the technology that was being used to give you content that you wanted, something that wasn't very easy uh, to do before, and that was the unique advantage that the app had compared to a lot of other news apps. And that made the company really big. And so shortly after, we started to do user-generated content. So we launched Sigua Video, uh, video content platform. Uh, we launched uh, some products uh, overseas. Uh, we had uh, Douyin coming into the picture, the Chinese version uh, uh, of, uh, that we, of TikTok in the mainland. And then uh, we went essentially on an international tour. We acquired companies like uh, Musical.ly, uh, News Republic. Musical.ly was integrated into the TikTok platform. Uh, we accelerated the international expansion. Uh, and now we're looking at the game space to actually figure out how can we use all those platforms, all those users. So our global footprint, very large. Uh, 50 plus offices, 30 countries, our products are live in over 150 markets, 75 languages, uh, different brands active in different places of the world. Um, but uh, for sure, our most known product outside of China is TikTok. I think a lot of the reason why uh, people are here today to hear about it. Well, uh, TikTok, it's uh, been reported on in the media quite a bit. Um, how we're rewriting the world, how we're topping the iOS store in terms of downloads for social media platforms, and that's all true. Um, there's also news in the media that says uh, our monthly active users are over a billion. Um, of course, I cannot confirm or deny that number, but it's nice that it's out there. Um, and so, like, we are truly working on, on a global rise. Uh, and we need to work with uh, developers and, uh, and, and publishers around the world to serve better content to our users. So it's, TikTok is the destination for short more, uh, form mobile video. If you haven't used TikTok at all, I can show you a quick snapshot here. Uh, so essentially have your homepage, 
which is just video after video after video, and each time you take any action, whether it is uh, you know swiping to the next one, or liking it, or giving a comment, or even just looking at it for five seconds or 15 seconds, our system will optimize uh, your profile and serve you even more videos that you like. And so people spend a really long time uh, just going from video to video because the next video is always more interesting than the last one. And so you have a discovery page where you can you know, uh, look at different uh, content creators, see different uh, uh, content topics uh, based on your preferences. You can actually shoot your own videos through the app uh, where we have uh, all kinds of uh, neat features that help you make your videos interesting. Uh, you get notifications about the news, about your favorite uh, people uh, uploading new content. And of course, there's your profile and community where you can follow people. And this is very important to games because we build communities that can also relate to gaming and where gamers can congregate to talk about their favorite game or indeed share content about their favorite game. Um, just showing you a, a few fun and, and creative aspects uh, of uh, this video shooting, what makes it so popular among a new generation of, uh, of users. So we're using this AI capability that we have um, among our platforms to really do all kinds of creative video editing within the app that could make it more interesting to users. So let's see if the, uh, the video actually works here with sound. Do we have sound? Um, so this is uh, just uh, with the pose, then we have uh, automatic editing. gesture uh, recognition. And finally, the face uh, recognition stickers by means of a traditional Chinese uh, performance. Don't know if anyone has been to eat hot pot at uh, Heidi Lao. You have this performance as well. So this is the, one of the main reasons why the platform is so popular and also so popular among a, a new generation of users. It's really easy to create personal content that is engaging, that is different from the social media platforms that you've uh, been using for a couple of years or a previous generation been using. So this is where the new audience goes. And of course you can do a lot when it comes to gaming content as well. So how do we actually work with uh, developers at the moment, but also in the future. So first, let me t talk a little bit about what we're doing already for, for quite a while, which is to essentially be a channel for developers or publishers to use uh, in reaching bigger audiences, right? We can socialize uh, the communities, we can customize content based on games, and you can reach those millennials, you can reach that Generation Z, um, which is a really good audience to have in the long run. Advanced creation and editing, so you have a higher engagement, you increase your ARPU. We have community challenge activities, uh, allow you to have a better uh, rate of user acquisition. We have tools for uh, developers to work with so that you can engage with your audience on the platform, which can drive upsell. And of course, we're 100% mobile video focused, and that is very good to have, especially on mobile. Um, but let me sh show you a little bit about what we actually already have done. So we are now becoming more and more active in actually having a relationship directly 
with content providers, developers or publishers in helping them boost their games uh, in, the, in the market. And this can be in the Chinese market, but it can also be uh, globally. So this is a case study, uh, Virus War, which was launched uh, uh, February 1st around the Chinese New Year and was supported uh, by our operation teams through the TikTok audience network and was one of the uh, most highest performing uh, hyper casuals, uh, casual games uh, for quite a while, two months, pretty long time. And we've, in the meantime, since then, released a, a variety of other, especially casual, hyper-casual apps, and they've been doing really well. Um, so we'll be expanding that business quite a lot. And if we're talking a little bit about that business, ways we can work together, um, without being too specific in, in the public arena, like uh, you know, co-marketing, very obvious one, you can plug your, um, your games, your, your uh, apps, into the TikTok audience network, into our platform, and uh, boost your marketing efforts. You can also work uh, directly with us, and we can help uh, scale your actual app uh, or game. Um, we very much welcome strategic partnerships in every genre, I should highlight. So while we are very much known at the moment uh, for our hyper-casual capabilities, um, we are looking to partner with people uh, in every corner of the industry. So if you have any questions or, you know, uh, are we interesting uh, for you as a partner? Could we do something together because we're not like the virus war or we're not like the, the little games we've seen on the platforms? Please come and talk to me. Um, we have global ambitions. So as I said, um, you know, we're perhaps the only Chinese company at the moment that has been able to make a dent in the global social media market. And we're definitely trying to capitalize on that going forward. So again, come talk to me if you have any thoughts there. And what we also want to do if we have partnerships with, uh, with developers is to share insights because we know users like no other platform. We can tell exactly what you can expect for, from a certain user coming into your platform or what kind of game they've been recently playing or what are the trends. Like, it's not like uh, um, a data platform you would see on the side, but we can actually tell a lot about our users because we know what actions they take uh, at the billion plus level every day. All right, uh, that's what I can share at this moment. I'd love to take some questions. And again, if someone has doubts about what we're actually doing or not do doing, let's find a place outside and talk about it. Okay, can I report to Tom, please? We will have questions. Okay, so how many questions? One at the front here. You're very good at questions. We like you, Max, so you can come again. Uh, thanks for in introduction of ByteDance and TikTok. A uh, question I read that uh, there was a game inside TikTok, kind of instant game. Do you plan to develop is as a platform for games, HTML5 games or something like that? Are you, are you referring to the Virus War uh, game or? Uh... No, I just read news and I don't remember the details, but it was like the game inside. Probably maybe it was a playable advertisement, mm -hmm. something like this. Or do, but any anything we, what you can talk about uh, TikTok as a platform for sure, games? Sure. So at the moment we haven't announced any plans to. Uh, do, as you say, have a uh, direct platform uh, where developers can just upload uh, their games directly, uh, like other platforms would do. We haven't announced uh, uh, anything similar for HTML5, um, but I would strongly recommend if there are such needs that you do come talk to us. Cool. Do we have any other questions for Tom? You can ask him. Are we no, is that a hand or are you scratching? We're scratching, that's fine. So I'm going to ask you one thing, because you're not getting away that easy. <laughs> Can't give you so you're saying you've got uh, different data or better data on your users or a different perspective on your users to maybe other social platforms. So can you kind of, without giving away your trade seat, because wh how does it differ? What, what, what do you have? Why do you know more? Well, um, all of these platforms that you saw in the presentation, whether it is people reading the news, whether it's people posting a video, whether it's people looking at live streaming, all those actions that an individual user will take across all of those apps gets put into the same backend right. where we crunch the numbers and figure out 
what would be your next target or what would you like to see more of okay. um, and having that massive variety of content so there's news there's live streaming there's short video plus our users are actually creating at the same time we can use all that information to get a really deep insight of where the market is going okay. and how we can best provide the contents of the next few months of the next year for the users because we can see trends on our own platforms before yeah. anyone else. And you'll be sharing those trends widely with the world? Uh, with no. our <laughs> worldwide partners, yes, that's right. Okay. And what's your, what's your account so we can check out some of your hilarious videos? Uh, my account? Um, I'll, I'll share with you after okay. the show. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. okay, I'll let you go, Tom. Big round of applause for Tom Van Zandt, please. Thank you very much.